Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandanapu, Business Applications MVP. Welcome to my channel. Today, we will be discussing about exception handling in Power Automate. In the past, we have discussed about how to handle exceptions in Power Apps. Those who have not got a chance to look at that video, I have included the link for that video. Feel free to go and watch that. Today, we will be learning what is an exception in Power Automate, how to handle and how to get the exact error messages back to the user. Before any further delay, the business case for this video is maker should ensure that flow is executing without skipping following steps if any issue or error encounter in the business logic. What exactly that means is in Power Automate, if the flow engine encounter any error while it is executing the flow, the flow will get terminate from there. And when we see why should we need to learn exception handling, no client is ready to see their entire business process got failed because of one record or value is not in desired way. As I said, if it encountered error at one place, the entire flow will get terminate and the rest of the business logic will not get executed. Another issue is flow engine will turn off the flow if it fails continuously. Last but not least, end user will never be happy to see the flow failed notification from the flow engine periodically. Let us see how to handle exception handling in Power Automate on a very common issue in day in day out development. I have a Power App for all my release management. Business logic of this app is as soon as the team submit a release management cycle, the app has to submit a record to SharePoint list as well as it will trigger a Microsoft flow to send an email to the manager of the selected team lead. Let us see how it will work. If I select a lead wherein the manager is not associated. I have selected Sai as the team lead and provided the release date and as part of the team members I have selected Sai and myself. When I submit the business logic of this app is to add a record in SharePoint list. And if we come back and see the, the SharePoint list, I have added one record by jet tracking and this is the entry. And let us see how the flow is performed. The flow I have created as like this power apps and this is where it will read the lead email ID and I am getting the profile of that uh, provided lead email and then I'm getting the manager of that provided lead and then I'm sending a email to that uh, provided lead manager. So when we see the result out of this flow is the flow got failed at manager while receiving the manager. The reason is the resource manager does not exist or one of the queried reference property object not found. What does that exactly means is that when I go to Azure Active Directory and check whether Sai has any manager associated with that user or not, he doesn't have any manager mapped at the Active Directory level. So what the flow got failed. But unfortunately, the user will have no clue what happened exactly because we are not able to send anything back to user. How to handle this kind of a scenario is if we see the classic way of handling exceptions in the development model is they will encapsulate all the possible code where they could see a possible exception as part of try and then they will handle the, all the exceptions as part of catch and they will write finally block to ensure that whatever they want to execute whether there is a exception or not there is no exception the finally block will definitely get executed. So how we can replicate as part of this Power Automate is in Power Automate we have something called run after we have to configure run after. How do we do that is first you identify where we could see the exception and then the next step, click on this menu icon and select configure run after 
it will show a set of options that is successful, has failed, is skipped, has timed out, which means that whether this send email functionality got succeeded or failed or skipped or has timed out, I want to execute my next step, which is a compose statement. Okay, now that we know how to handle exception, let us implement in our flow and see how we can handle that exception successfully. Now to this flow, what I will be doing is I will be adding a next uh, one step in between the user profile and finding the manager. I am adding a step and select and control, select the scope. Scope is a control where I can pack all my possible exceptions into one block and then write a exception on top of it and then catch the exception if there are any exceptions encountered on those set of statements. Now let me rename this as try and then I want to move this back to select that and move it up. This one also. So if I have any exception while fetching the manager, I cannot send an email. So now I have to write one more scope to catch the exception. If the exception there, as part of the catch, I want to see what is that error I'm getting as part of my try block. Now what I will do, I'm, I'm going to write a compose. In this compose, I want to see the error message out of this try block. So go to expression, say result of try. Now I will get the exception in a JSON format. Now I need to read the JSON. I need to convert the JSON to see what is the error. I have to add parse JSON. Parse JSON here. My input will be compose output. And here I have already copied the. Here I will be generating with the sample JSON format and then what I wanted to do is out of this, I need to see what is the error I am getting. So in order to do that, I will be creating one more variable as error message where error message as a string. I'm renaming that as error message. Now I will update that variable with the error message. Say variable append to string variable here. Error message I selected. Here I will say message as part of the JSON. Okay. Now I got this error exception handled, which I am getting as part of my previous JSON string. Now that I have handled the exception, if there are any, I will be adding one more scope to ensure that my flow is executed with exception or without exception. In order to do that, I will be adding a condition and I will check my error string has in any data or not. The length of my error string is not zero, which means that there are some exceptions and I need to inform that to admin. So if it is zero, then my flow got successfully executed. I will say, I can say this one as here as flow got executed successfully. In case if that is not zero, I'll have to send an email to the admin team stating that for now I'm sending myself stating that exception so this is how I can send an email to 
my uh, admin team. Now that I have completed my flow with exception handling, all I have to do is, now I know that I have to configure this step, run after this. Click on this, configure run after, whether this try is success, has failed. If it is success, I don't have to worry about it. So I'll say ignore. If it is has failed, has skipped, or has timeout, I need to execute my catch block. And then this final should execute whether this got executed or not, whether if the if the scenario is a success scenario, the catch will not get executed. So this will also be skipped. So always remember here, whether this is skipped, success or any way, I need to execute my finally block. Whether the catch is skipped or not skipped, I have to ensure that whether it is success, has failed, skipped or timed out, I need to ensure my finally block is executed. Now that we have implemented the exception in our flow, let us execute our scenario one more time. Saying like, again, budget tracking version 1.5. Now again, I'm going to say SAI and then I'll say release notes as bug fixing. And then say in 25, SAI and then there it is. Now I'm just clicking on submit. Now, if I go back and validate my flow, the flow got executed successfully, even though my manager is not available for the selected lead. If you see this try got an exception, but the exception has handled properly as part of my catch and also it executed finally. When I come here and see it got executed properly, the exception is clearly shows that resource manager does not exist or one of its required reference property object are not present because we have already noticed that manager for SAI was not updated by the admin. So it is showing me the error as resource manager does not exist. And then in the final block, what we are doing is we are validating whether the length of the error message is zero or not. Since the error has a value, the length will be false and it comes over to else case and it sent an email as like this. I got an error message email as stating very clearly that exception in sending email to manager. So this is the failure case. If we submit a release management with the manager value existed for the lead where the manager is existed. Now if I submit this and when I refresh, this is still running. If we come back and validate this flow, this time my try got executed successfully because I have manager defined, defined for my name, wherein my manager is Sai and it happily sent the email as Hi Sai Prudhvinath Vandanapu, your team member Krishna scheduled for release. Since that the try got executed, catch will not get, ex it will be skipped and then though the catch is skipped, it will enter into finally block and now my error message will be zero. So the length of the error will be true. The length of the error is zero. So this condition is true. It went on to success case and it's showing as flow executed successfully. The development tip for today's video is while implementing the flow, I have copy pasted the sample JSON format as part of generate sample JSON format. How did I get that? Go to any of the existing or completed flow and then copy the output of this compose statement wherein what we are doing here is if we notice as part of this catch, 
I am getting my result as a JSON format. And if you see the output of this is a JSON, that is the same JSON we will have to copy to generate the sample JSON format. Now I will copy this output and then as part of here, I will be adding one more parse JSON. Pass JSON and say here generate sample, paste that output here and say done. That will generate the sample schema and then it will be whatever the output it is. That is how it will just read through that output. So this is how I have generated this output. I wanted to cover as part of a tip so that I, so what I have not explained while creating the flow. Hope this tip will be helpful to you guys while generating the flow to render the JSON. That is how we can handle exceptions in Power Automate. I hope you like this video. If you like, do like, add your comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel for all further notifications.